probably look weird talking to myself out loud. But it's pretty cool. Nice weather we're having, lots of snow. Hello everybody, today's video is going to be on Korg Voca Bass. One of these little synthesizers will cost you about $250 Canadian. I bought this about a year ago from the guys at Long & McQuaid. Okay, so basically what I'm going to show you guys is uh, how to hook this little bad boy up to your computer. First, you need one of these. One of these guys. Anyone who's watching this video will know what this is. So pick up one of these, or else it's too quiet without one of these. If you're going into the M Audio interface, which is over here. Second thing we need is a USB to MIDI cable. These things are very convenient, and they're not crazy expensive. I got mine for about 30 bucks. Another thing that you'll need is an audio interface. Uh, I have an M Audio M Track 2x2. Very good, affordable. Basically, if you have an audio interface, you have one of these, and you have those cables that I just showed you, you're ready to connect your synthesizer to your computer. Now, today we're going to be using a Mac, because that's the only computer I have. Uh, same idea when it comes to cables for connecting to a PC. M audio interface will work on a PC. The USB cable that I showed you for about 30 bucks will work on a PC. But... I'm going to show you how to hook it up to a Mac using Logic Pro X. Okay, so here's the Korg Voca Bass. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to use the MIDI and this port right here. Excuse my mess of cables here. Plug in the MIDI cable. Make sure that the MIDI out goes into the MIDI in on the Korg Voca Bass. Next, we're going to plug it into that USB. Okay. Plug it into here, the headphones out. Plug it in input two. Okay, so next we fire up Logic. Now that you have Logic open, you want to create a new software instrument. So we already have one created, it's called insert one. And we're going to go to the instrument panel and then what we want to do is select utilities, go to external instrument. And because uh, the Korg Voca base is mono, uh, we should select mono. Instrument panel is open here. We're going to plug in our USB. Once it's plugged in, this red light will come on. Next, you want to select where the audio is coming from. So we're going to select input two and make sure if you haven't already, go into Preferences, Audio, and just double check and make sure that your audio interface for the input is the one that's connected to your computer. So in this case, it's the M-Track 2x2 two two, and our output device. Okay, so we got the built-in speakers on, just for demonstration purposes. Built-in output. So make sure you turn down your volume all the way first. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we're going to turn on the Korg Voca Bass. So what we want to do is uh, take the uh, cutoff, turn that down, take the main volume, turn that all the way down. Now we want to fire this puppy up. So Now, on the computer, select USB MIDI interface, or whatever the name of it is, and then we go to just leave that at all because it's easier unless you have a bunch of MIDI devices, which we don't. We just have one, so make sure input two is selected. And then you don't have to really touch anything else. It should work from here. Let's just make a simple bass line. Now we have our bass line. Make sure to turn the cut off. Make sure you turn the volume on the Voca bass up to maximum. Now, also on your fader, just turn that down a bit. You don't want to clip. Okay, so now let's play that. And there we go, that is the Voca Bass. Now, in theory, this should work with just about any synthesizer. We can edit the cutoff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with this little thing. It's quite powerful. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. 
I hope to do a few more videos like this. I enjoy sharing knowledge with people. So if you have any ideas for tutorials that you'd like me to do, uh, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. Yeah, the Korg Voca bass is a pretty awesome synthesizer and I'll do some uh, reviews on it and maybe some tutorials. And yeah, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Thank you for watching.